Hello and welcome, this is Ali Nasser. I am SolidWorks certified expert. Today I will talk about fixtures types in SolidWorks simulation. Before we start talking about uh, fixtures types, we must define the degree of freedom. For an object in 3D space have six degree of freedom, three transition and three rotational about axis. Uh, and three degree of freedom in transition only, for chill elements, we have three, six degree of freedom, three, uh, three in transition and three in rotational. Fixtures are used to uh, restrain surface or edge or point, or allow sliding or rotational. Restraints or fixtures are used also to reduce the size of the problem components level. The fixture types are divided into standard and advanced, and we will talk about it later. Uh, the preview of uh, fixtures are like that. Uh, that is for transition and that's for transition and rotational. If uh, the preview of fixtures doesn't uh, uh, available, you must check a view uh, simulation symbol from here. Simulation fixtures has symbol like that, uh, a green arrow, that means zero displacement, no movement in uh, transition. And if uh, has arrow and circular b behind arrow, uh, it's mean zero displacement and zero rotational. For symbol of uh, displacement, we have a big green arrow. Uh, for force, b we have a small pink uh, arrow. For rotational, we have pen arrow. For coupling, uh, we have pink uh, pen. Now we'll talk about the standard types uh, for fixtures in SOLIDWORKS. We'll start by a fixed geometry. Fixed geometry, all transition and rotation are, are zero. Uh, when I select this face, that means zero in transition and rotational. The second type is immovable. Immovable fixtures, which used for uh, surface or uh, chill elements only, we have zero move uh, in transition and doesn't available for solid. If we compare them between fixed and immovable geome fixed geometry, uh, there is no difference uh, for shell and beam, but difference in solid elements. Immovable is not available for solid. Immovable and fixtures are different for beams uh, support uh, in case like that. If I selected a uh, hinge uh, support and uh, no zero uh, deflection at start, we can use immovable fixtures. But here, uh, fixed geometry, zero transition and zero rotational and zero deflection at start, we can use uh, fixed geometry. Here is a type of uh, roller slided fixtures, roller or slider, uh, which used to prevent uh, movement in normal uh, normal move. Uh, we have zero move in normal, but we can move in uh, other uh, directions. Fixed hinge, it's like a cylinder graphics. Which use uh, <clears throat> which select the cylindrical face. Uh, that mean uh, the body can move uh, on its axis. On cylinder face features, uh, it's uh, equal to fixed hinge uh, when can only move about its axis. But uh, in cylinder face also you can constrain cylindrical faces along the direction, including the axial, radial, and circumferential and circumferential. We select the cylindrical face and uh, select appropriate uh, units of measurement and then uh, fix it the direction X or circumferential. For on flat face fixtures, we have to uh, fix it, uh, the movement in two direction and allow uh, the body to move in one direction like selected plan I will uh, move this board in direction one and prevent the motion in direction two and normal direction. That by select the, the planner face, uh, you wish to uh, make the body move uh, on it and then uh, uh, select appropriate uh, units 
uh, at least uh, prevent the direction you 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 don't uh, need to move it for on spherical faces uh, it's like uh, flat faces or uh, on cylindrical faces we constrain the we restrain the direction of longitudinal and latitudinal direction also radial direction first select spherical face and appropriate units for symmetry features, uh, we used in case we can divide the model in half or a quarter or one over eight portion to decrease the time of calculation. Uh, also, if the forces are radial, radial mean like that, if you have cylindrical or uh, circular face and force going to the radial, we can use symmetrical um, features. It's applied to um, restrain the, the axial direction. So we can uh, instead the, the symmetry features by roller or slider uh, features because uh, it's it's same uh, zero in normal uh, movement, but uh, that is only for solid elements. But in uh, chill elements, we have degree three degree of freedoms. We when select the faces of portion, uh, that is mean zero in normal direction and rotational, but can move in axial. Axial in here. This part can move in axial, but is uh, only in solid elements. In uh, case of uh, simulate um, part uh, has portion. Uh, 45 degree if you have circular part and divided it for 45 degree uh, you have this message the plan of symmetry for these restraints is not perpendicular to plans or previous defined symmetry restraints plans of symmetry must be orthogonal so you can use in this case uh, instead roller or slider to prevent these problems. Now we'll talk about, for cycle symmetry, we used it in uh, case of tangential force uh, applications like uh, turbines, fan, impeller, flywheels. Uh, we select the faces of portions, like here, this face, and uh, the other face, and select X uh, on the direction you wish to prevent. That is mean zero in normal direction and zero in rotational. But uh, the direction in uh, here is comparison between uh, cyclic and uh, symmetry features. In uniform speed, there is only radial or centrifugal force. So we can use both uh, cyclic or symmetry. But in non-uniform non speed, uh, there are uh, radial and tangential force so we can use only cyclic symmetry. Cyclic symmetry uh, is uh, suitable for 40 degree, 45 degree slice, but we can use uh, symmetry for uh, 45 degree. Uh, we can use it uh, in a, use it uh, instead of it uh, roller slider. Cyclic symmetry used for a flat surface and the curved surface, but uh, symmetry features use only for flat surface. In case of cycle features, the features face can move in in their normal direction. But in case uh, of uh, symmetry features, the normal direction is fixed. In, the, in solid elements, it has zero in normal move uh, and zero in rotational, that's for cyclic. But in uh, solid elements for symmetry, we have uh, zero in normal move. In chill mesh symmetry factors is fixed, 3 degree of freedom. For uh, the type of uh, factors use reference geometry, it's suitable for all type of support. You select vertex or face or edge and select appropriate uh, direction you wish to uh, constrain or uh, prevent the movement in this direction. Then select the direction you wish. Here is here is example for use reference geometry. 
if I wish to prevent the direction of axial movement of this part in direction of axial I select uh, one point here on this part and one point and uh, for reference of direction uh, I will select uh, X this X and then select the direction of axial axial zero to prevent this part to movement in this direction if I wish to uh, prevent this part to move in directional Y and directional Z I select these faces here then select plan uh, suitable plan for uh, directional I select um, plan uh, top plan here and then uh, apply zero for y uh, y directional and z directional now we talk about now we talk about the bearing fixtures bearing fixtures is used for bearing support if we have bearing support like that uh, we can uh, reduce uh, uh, the model to be only chuffed and uh, take effect of uh, bearing like that I will select the faces but uh, you can only select uh, one face in one time uh, you select bearing the fixtures you cannot select two faces one face of bearing here and then select uh, check allowance alignment that mean uh, the cylindrical face will rotate now uh, select uh, rigid if I select rigid uh, that means the bearing cannot move in axial or radial directional when select uh, flexible we can move in axial and radial direction and I uh, must uh, enter the value of, uh, of movement in axial and radial and uh, at last select stabilize, select stabilize uh, shaft rotational to make shaft rotational more stable for every uh, fixtures we have a split tab a split tab that mean uh, used for apply fixture on portion on only portion if I have this like that and I wish to restrain this portion just I uh, draw a sketch of portion and we can split uh, this portion to apply the load or pressure on it that's all for our session. I hope this video is useful for you. My regards, Ali Nasser. And don't forget to subscribe my channel.